Hi, this is Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric, and the stator I have here, this is a stator out of the 2000 through the 2002 ZRT 800s and Thundercat 1000s. So, this stator here is pretty straightforward, pretty easy to check. Looking at it here, you've got your power side, which is all of these coils here. So, we've got two, four, six, eight, nine of those with the larger gauge wire on those and that is the power for your lights, gauges, hand warmers and so forth. These two here that are wrapped, these are your two ignition coils for the, like I say, the ZRT800 and Thundercat 2000 through 2002 and they've got the throttle position sensor and so forth and uh, so they use the 3D ignitions on those. So our plugs, we've just got our two plugs on here, and these are the same plugs you find on the 93 through 99 Thundercat, and basically check these the same way, except for just different readings. Uh, first plug here, this is the plug that, that plugs into our wiring harness, and it has the two yellow wires here, that's for your power side. So you can take your multimeter, put it on your lowest setting, and go ahead and check that for continuity if you're having an issue with no lights or you know no gauges something like that and we've got uh... it'll just be low 0 0.5, 0 0.4, you're just looking for continuity check your ground wire you can go ahead and it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive hook one to the eye, eyelet loop and then uh, the other one to the male connector you can see the male connector on there. Same thing, just looking for continuity. It's going to be very low, point, you know, point 0.3, point 0.5, whatever. And it's just bouncing around because I just, I'm just moving the lead so much. Now, our ignition side, you're only going to have 15, 15, and 30 ohms in series. Uh, I could go by color of wire here, but the only reason why I do orientation of the plug is sometimes guys have a sled and they have wires spliced in or something, or they're so dirty and messed up they can't tell what colors they are. So the orientation of the plug, there's that little nub that sticks out here. It's for the connection on it. And that little uh, connector uh, piece that sticks out, I put that at the 6 o'clock position, just put it right by my left thumb here. And the way we'll check this is, first of all, we'll do our top two. This is our ground. The bottom left is ground, so you don't even use that one. So our top two here first, and you will get 15. And you can see on my ohm meter, as soon as I make connection, there we go. We've got uh, 15 and a half ohms, 15.4 ohms. And now, with my thumb still where that little connector is, we do the top right and bottom right and that is our other coil and that will also give us you know 15 15 and a half ohms so there we are 15.4 and then when we go kitty corner top left to bottom right that reading is our two coils in series so that's where we get our 30 you know 30.5 or so so that's how you check this stator for ohm readings for your power side and then your ignition side and this, like I say, uh, this is for 2000 to 2002 ZRT 800s and the Thundercat 1000s. These have the 3D ignitions on them. They have the TPS switch and so forth. Thank you.